and we request you to watch this video up to the end uh, so that you can benefit you can get some knowledge on how to answer the questions uh, in your exams we are doing from number 10 because we did a uh, number one to number nine in the other video if you want to watch you can uh, uh, watch it in this channel question number 10 say three precautions to take during collection of specimen number one collect only the required number number two do not destroy natural habitat of the organism number three do not harm the specimen next return the live specimen back to the habitant then dangerous and dangerous specimen should be handled using uh, gloves number 11 name two chemicals chemical substance used to immobilize highly mov mobile organisms we have chloroform and diethyl diethyl ether those are the two chemicals that are used to make the animals that move very fast yeah, to immobilize them because you can't get them when they are moving very fast uh, you have to apply apply those chemicals and they make the animal uh, unable to move uh, we move to the next question uh, number 12 study the diagram below and answer the questions that follow about them roman one name the apparatus labeled m you can see it n and q and state their functions and state the function of each that is the question m n and q you can also see another part labeled p eh? uh, you must put them in your brain uh, give us the 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 function of the part labeled m n and q in the comment section uh, write the answer down there in the comment section and other learners will will find your answer and they will be very happy they will be very happy because uh, you are participating and that's how we how we make our 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 presentation to be lively by you having uh, having to write a comment for us down there and uh, the naming of the name the apparatus labeled m n and q and state their function m is a is a pair of uh forceps uh, their work is to pick small stinging animals we have presented them if you want to see the apparatus you can replay the video so that you can have a look at them the pa the apparatus named m the apparatus named n and uh, for you to be on the safe side you must know a different apparatus that are used to collect uh, specimen and then you should be able to uh, know their functions each each apparatus this is from one word We have a uh, question number 14 here. Question number 14, you are told list five differences between a plant and animal. And one side you have plant and the other side you have animals. Uh, different number one, most are green in color, hence are able to manufacture food for simple raw materials in. And then animals, they lack chlorophyll, hence feed on ready-made food next they respond and a plant responds slowly to changes in the environment 
and then animals they respond quickly next they do not move about plants do not move but animals most animals move in search of food and shelter and also mate next they lack specialized excretory organs the plant lack that but uh, animals have complex excretory organs like skin and kidney uh, this question is very common you might find it in kcse it is very common you must be able to uh, to identify you must be able to discuss uh, to discuss the differences between a plant and animals and the differences are very very open they are not complicated uh, you take for example a cow and a tree then you start listing down the the differences then we have a uh, plant store excess food as starch animals store excess food as glycogen uh, next grow grow growth occurs throughout life then we have growth occurs during early life then growth occurs at a specific that is for the for the plant occurs at a specific and in the animal growth occurs all over the body then the last one plant body parts are spread out then the other one animal bodies are compact they are compact and uh, that's how you that's how you list down you list down the differences between plant and animals and when you find that uh, it is difficult for you uh, to get uh, the differences uh, imagine you have a cow here and a plant and then look at them physically eh? when you look at them physically for example you can see uh, plant body parts are spread out and then animal body parts are compact eh? some things when you imagine the picture of a tree and a cow in your brain you can easily identify their differences uh, we are through with this video and we thank you our subscriber and our viewers for watching this video up to the end and we are taking this opportunity to thank our subscribers uh, you have a continually supported our channel and we don't take that for granted